Hello there to all my fellow benders of all four nations. Welcome to Uncle Iroh's Tea Shop. Find yourself a seat, grab some jasmine tea, and enjoy the video. Firstly, i just like to say that on this channel specifically, I know I don't really upload at all, and it's mainly because of the fact that there's really not much to talk about with regards to the world of Avatar, but with the new live-action show coming around the corner next year, we are going to slowly start to get more updates and news, and today's video is centering around a new look, and one that's the first that we have gotten in a long time since the summer. So, I'm looking forward to talking about this one with everybody here who is ready for the live Live action show and as a fan of Avatar in general. So like I said, we got a brand new first look at some new character looks, specifically from our Fire Nation set of characters in the show. Right off the bat, I have to say I'm honestly kind of surprised that we actually got a photo of Fire Lord Ozai and Azula. I will say, especially in the case of Ozai, he does look amazing. Daniel Day Kim is playing him, and I think that's a very interesting choice for an actor to portray the big bad of this entire series. I don't know if he'll be quite on par with Mark Hamill as the voice, but I think he'll definitely nail it down from a live action perspective. Azula is being played by Elizabeth Yu, and somebody I'm not familiar with in any way, but just based off the photo, she looks pretty decent in terms of the look. She's got the hair down, but her outfit does look a little modified from the original animated version. I don't personally mind it, and after all, it is just an outfit. I'd be more curious to see how she nails down the personality of Azula. She has a very unique personality just based on her characteristics, so that's probably most important with regards to her character. Of course, for for those who know the animated show, these two characters don't fully show up until after book one. Yes, there is a sneak peek of them both at the very end of book one, but in terms of actually seeing their faces and in action, they don't fully come into play until book two and book three. Which to me begs the question of, I'm pretty sure just by judging off these two photos, it seems like we are going to be getting brand new scenes to add into the established continuity of the original animated show. Again, like I said, just by judging off where these two characters are in their photos, they seem to be in locations that are not of what is given in season one. I also don't think that they are going to be time jumping in any way and giving us a scene straight out of book two because that just wouldn't make any sense. These to me absolutely seem like they are going to be new scenes. This is something that I'm not totally opposed to in the sense that I've seen other shows add new scenes into the continuity of an original that worked. Take for example The Last of Us live action adaptation. There are scenes inside of that show that are not based in what the game showcased. This could be something very similar here with this adaptation. In a way, this now also transitions us over to the next first look, which is of our boy, Uncle Iroh, who is being played by Paul Sung Hyung Lee. He is an actor I know very well from Star Wars, as he's been recently in a lot of the newer stuff as Captain Carson Teva. And again, here overall, I think the look looks pretty good just based off this one photo. I am definitely curious to know the location of the scene he is in. You can very clearly tell that it is a prison cell just by looking at the door on the right side of the picture. But if my memory serves me correct, the only time that Iroh ever found himself in a prison in the show was during Book 3 after he was captured at the end of the boss sing say arc in book two. I'm not sure who he'd be visiting here, although now that I think about it, I have an interesting theory to this one. This could be a completely new scene and one that could be of him visiting Zuko after he was given his scar by his father. Again, I'm not exactly sure where he'd be here knowing book one. It is very clearly Fire Nation related because he is still in his robes, so that's why I come up with a theory like that. Let me know where you think this scene might take place if I'm totally wrong with that theory. Moving on over to the next first look, we are getting command Commander Zhao in a scene that based off the photo is clearly obvious as to what episode it might be taking place in. This photo definitely looks like it's taking place in Chapter 13, The Blue Spirit, where Aang was captured and rescued by Zuko as the Blue Spirit. In that very episode, Zhao tells his forces to stand down and let them go. This could be him, but reimagined to where he's on the ground instead of up in the tower. Behind him, we also get a first look at what a soldier looks like from the Fire Nation. Everyone knows that they have a very distinctive look behind those masks, and judging based off the photo comparing it to the animated show, I have to say it looks pretty decent. Weirdly enough though, the photo does make the outfit look all black, whereas in the animated show there was that mix of red inside of the outfit as well. Maybe it's just the way that the scene is lit and the photo just captured what it looked like there. Either way, at least from the face, it does look pretty good. So again, to recap, I believe that this is the scene from that episode, but I'd be curious to know if anybody else thinks that this is another one with him in it. It could also potentially be a scene inside of chapter 16 where Aang goes to meet Zhang Zhang for firebending teaching. 
I'm not sure. I want to hear all your thoughts in the comments below. And then finally, we also get our first look at Prince Zuko. And again, I have to be honest, at least from the outfit, I'm pretty much digging the look. I have noticed a few people say that his scar could have been touched on a little bit more. To some degree, I understand what they are saying, and it doesn't bother me too much, but in a way, I kind of agree and disagree that maybe it should have been touched up on a little bit more. In terms of the scene of this photo, there are definitely a few possibilities. This is potentially a scene that takes place on his ship, where he might be in a different room inside of the ship, but I don't know if this is necessarily his quarters. That's probably my best guess as to where this one takes place. There's not really too much to go off of here, but it also might be taking place on land given the window behind him. His ship never had windows to look outside of of their rooms, so it might be a scene way later on after his ship gets destroyed by the pirates or right before his ship gets destroyed. Again, those are just my best guesses, but again, let me know down below where you think this scene might be taking place. In other news to go along with these first look photos, it was announced that Netflix is having a major event in November called Netflix's Geeked Week. It starts on the 6th and goes through till the 12th. I believe based off the fact that we got more first look photos, this could be the event which gives us our first look at footage from the show. Whether it is a very small 30 or second teaser or a full first trailer, I believe that this is the time where we are going to be getting it. The full show is releasing in 2024, so my best guess as someone who is a marketing student in school right now is that they could really give us just a small bit of footage to look at, but not something fully. It probably won't be too much, and at the same time, we might get a few more first look photos. Just basing that off the timeline of when it might release in 2024, I think that that's a pretty safe bet to make. Overall, though, that's all that there is to cover with this new news for the live-action Avatar show, which at this point, again, I think might be the main thing that I focus on with regards to this channel. We are still ways away from anything to come about from the new animated shows that we know are coming, and as of right now, there's really not too much else going on in the world of Avatar. I know there was a new video game that just came out, and unfortunately, it looked like it didn't really turn out too well, and so right now, with regards to this channel, my main focus will probably be on the live-action show. But hey, that's cool, because as of right now, I've got a pretty pretty busy life going on, and a lot of my effort recently has been focusing on my other two channels that I have, which are linked in the description. Go check them out if you are interested. Like I said, I am currently in school right now, and that is going to be ending around December. So here's hoping that the future is bright right now, especially for this channel, because I'm very passionate about Avatar The Last Airbender and the world of this franchise. It is my favorite show of all time, and so I am definitely happy to be able to bring as much to whatever comes in the future as I can. One last thing, on your way out of Uncle Iroh's tea shop, be sure to let him know how much you appreciate his jasmine tea and his words of wisdom that come with it. You can do that by liking this video if you enjoyed, commenting down below your thoughts on this new look, and subscribe to the channel if you are new here and want to see more Avatar content. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. I'll see you soon.